Jeremiah chapter number 51, verse number 20. Jeremiah 51, verse number 30. Number 20. You are my war club. God is saying, you are my war club. You are my weapon for battle. With you, I shatter nations. With you, I destroy kingdoms. Look at me, look at me brothers. God says, you are, you are my weapon. Yet yesterday, in the class of yesterday, we told you the weapons of warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God and they are this. We told number one, the word. We told the weapons. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds. And now we are coming back to you and we are telling you another upgrade version of that. That God, when he looks at you, you are now the weapon he has. Do you see the difference in the message? Yes. This one is also true. But this one is more upgrade of this. Now, in the year of the Jesus Nation Church, the weapons that God has is us. I am a weapon. You are now the weapon. So if you carry the other weapons, weapons will carry other weapons. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I am a weapon. If I carry the word of God, means a weapon has carried another weapon. And that's what you need to understand. So there are some certain places. You were waiting for God to do things. Yet God is waiting for you to do things. You were waiting for God to go and do things. Yet God is waiting for you to do the things. So there has to be a transition in growth. There has to be an upgrade. We have to gravitate into higher knowledge in as far as the kingdom dealings are concerned. Now in 2023, we are weapons. And as we are facing the world, we are weapons of mass destruction. We are going to depopulate the kingdom of Satan and we are going to populate the kingdom of our God. Enough is enough. Every knee will, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And this is to the glory of the Father in heaven. And the miracles, signs and wonders shall follow. Wherever we go, the Lord shall lead us and God will be with us. Our God, God of Major One, shall lead us. Now I want to sing that song. God of Major One, be our leader. Lead us as we go out evangelizing, touching souls, establishing them and enthroning Christ above kingdoms, organizations and presidents and everyone. We have to go and tell presidents and kings of the earth. We have to tell them that Jesus is a king of all kings and is the Lord of all lords. Let's take him high at the highest position of his. Our God will lead us. Our God will lead us. Our God will lead us. He's a powerful God. How many of you believe in the God of our Father, Major One? If you believe in this God, wave your hand, wave it up, wave it up, wave it up, wave it up. A God will lead us. A God will lead us. He's a powerful God. I say pillar of fire by the night. I say pillar of cloud. He will lead us by the day. You can never understand. I say pillar of fire. He's a powerful God. He's a powerful God.
evangelist telling people the untold telling they are the message of the gospel i want you to understand that god will never leave you the same as he told peter can i use your boat in the return he blessed peter the boat of peter was full of fish anyone who saves god god will save them the bible says he who wins many souls shall shine like a star and he who brings many souls to Christ, the Bible says he is wise. I want us to pray that God give us grace to go and preach, to go and tell, to go and proclaim, to go and run with the message of the cross. That the entire world will be soaked deep in the message of salvation and the world will be saved. Romans 10 verse number 1, Apostle Paul says, it is my desire. To see Israel being saved. That is Romans chapter 10. Verse number 1. It was a passion and a cry of Saint Paul. I desire to see Israel being saved. And Israel represents the whole world. And he says I desire to see the world. And God's people being saved. And that is our cry. And that is a cry of the, our, our father prophet. Dr. Shepard Bushiri. To see people being saved. In the year 2023. Make a prayer. May God give us this grace. Let's just humble ourselves before the Lord and ask him for wisdom, revelations. May he give us power, divine health. None of us will die before time. You will not die before fulfilling the work that which God has endorsed and called you for. No sick will stop you from preaching this year. No disease will stop you from touching lives this year. Poverty will not stop you from touching people this year. No prison, no objection. This is a year you will go out and break courts and you cross borders, you fly in plans. You cross borders to just touch souls of men in the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Lento proni ante liga a solo prono mo suvra diga ante ligos. Jala baya ante liga ante liga monta la kina on suvra diga. Jala die ante la prono mo suvra diga ante. I jala par diga ante liga monta la kina. You have given us an assessment. In the name of Jesus, O God, to go out and preach the gospel. Mari parakato sekete abahate. We pray for grace. More grace, more revelation, more insight. Make a prayer, make a prayer, make a prayer. 